Uh, gold uh, has broken out over 750. Uh, the United States government has been pounding it and trying to keep it down. Uh, they've lost this particular battle. Next stop is probably around 850. Uh, a little backing and filling, and then to 950, and then a shot at the former high. Uh, there's a tremendous dichotomy between the physical market and the futures market. The physical physical market is red hot. I mean, the mints can't keep up with the production. We've gone into this with Ted on the program, and uh, and it's been hard to get product to satisfy the buyers out there. Uh, and that may very well continue. I, I would think it would. Now, the problem over on the on the uh, uh, the comics is that it, it the prices are not representative of what's going on in the market because the United States government is trying to rig, and they are rigging not only the gold and silver market, the commodity market, but every other market in the world that they think they need to rig. And so uh, I think that we've seen an exodus of speculators, traders, and even professional commercials leaving COMEX because the open, uh, the open inventory of orders has dropped uh, from over to about, from about 620,000 contracts down to around 285,000. That's a tremendous drop. Now, we're coming up on the 28th, and the 28th of November is when you're going to declare if you're going to take delivery. Normally, in silver and gold, they have less than 1% of the players take delivery. There is a great possibility that there'll be more than that. And if 16% or more in gold and 8 and 3 eighths percent in silver more than that, take delivery of the outstanding contracts, they won't have enough gold and silver to, to fill that. And then meanwhile, no, we know. have this huge gold rush on real precious metals and headlines about mints of the world out of gold. Can't even get enough to coin it. Uh, there's runs on shops. It's hard to get it anywhere. Huge premiums. Meanwhile, they tried to hold paper gold down. Now it's shot up to 800. Uh, would the globalist allow that to happen at the COMEX, or would they bring gold in the back door to satisfy uh, the COMEX not defaulting? They probably would find a way to get it to them. And because I don't know whether the U.S. government has any left. Uh, maybe they'd do it, or maybe they'd ask the Germans or the French or the Italians. The Italians come out to sit today and said they want to be sellers, but they're part of the selling group in Europe, and they only have so much of an allocation to sell during the coming year fiscal year started October 1st of this uh, year and goes into October 1st of next well, year. Well, aren't they just running it up on the COMEX so that they can make delivery at the higher price so they can actually buy the gold? No, I think I think they want to depress it more than anything else, and that's why Ed Lee's a seller. And Berlusconi is a neocon, and uh, he's just another criminal. And uh, he does what they tell him to do, and uh, that's, what he, that's what they said today. And so who cares whether they sell? I mean, there's so many buyers out there, it's all going to get absorbed. The game is over for these people. It's just a question of how long will it take for them to realize they should stop selling because it's not going to do any good anymore. Now, I know most so, of our audience... They're going to fly. I know most of the audience understands all this, but for those that don't know, can you explain about the comics rigging and how paper says one thing and the real market says another? <laughs> well, it's pretty simple. In comics, you can sell gold that you don't have or by shorting, or you can also uh, buy derivatives, betting that gold will go down. And that forces the derivative writer to go into the market and sell, as long as they don't go naked. Now, some of them go naked. Um, what percentage? It's hard to say, because there's no regulation, it's an opaque market, and nobody knows what's going on behind the scenes. Now, naked means they don't, even, they don't even put up the few percentage points to leverage the buy. There's no money. Right, exactly. And so um, that's what they've been doing and getting away with. And the professionals can't make any money because every time they make a trade, they lose. And so two-thirds of the volume is now gone. And so rigging and the market. You're going to have a lot of people taking delivery. How much, we don't know yet, but we'll know by the 29th of December because that's the last date that the December contract trades. But you have to declare yourself on November the 28th if you're going to say, I want to take delivery of my contracts, 
and then there's certain things you have to go through. They make it as difficult as possible, incidentally. So, 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 Bob, that's I gave why you you're... those percentages. Mm -hmm, so... And anything beyond that, they'll have to borrow the gold. Well, I mean, that's my question to you, and then we're going to move on because I want to go to calls in the next segment. That's what I'm saying. You're saying there's two-thirds less volume in the COMEX exchange because they have rigged it to not make it profitable, so everybody's leaving it, which then kills the game for those rigging it. Absolutely, and it also means that the cash market will get stronger and stronger because they'll go to London, Dubai, uh, they'll go to the ETFs all around the world. Uh, there's one trade in the New York Stock Exchange, symbol GLD, and, and that's where they're going to go because they're tired of losing money, and the same thing is true with the stock market. I mean, here we are an hour from the close on Friday, and what does the government do? Uh, the market is, looks like it's headed down 200 points, 300 points, and all of a sudden this announcement, Timothy Geithner is going to be probably the new Treasury Secretary. So we get a 200-point rally, which was created and, and executed and promulgated by your government. And then, and then they pump money in with the plunge protection team, and the public thinks, oh, it went up because this is a good new Treasury Secretary, and it's, it's the government doing it. Well, I had uh, Scott Nations on this week on CNBC, and I'm sure they'll never have him back again. And he owns a uh, trading company, and uh, uh, they asked what was going on. And he said, look, the government's rigging the market. And they went ballistic. They attacked him viciously, uh, not only the people on the program, but uh, one of the traders uh, said this is black helicopter conspiracy crap. Well, let me tell you something. Uh, you just don't have a clue. You're a liar. I'm, I'm addressing the person on the floor of the exchange. And they vilified him. But finally, it's mainstream. People are starting to realize they're getting screwed. Their pension plans are in terrible jeopardy. And uh, it's going to get worse. Lots, lots, lots worse. Well, Bob, you just uh, stole my thunder. I was going to get into, there were uh, three uh, hearings the last uh, two and a half weeks in Congress, and I have the transcripts where, where the chairman of these committees, the Democrats, well, it, it, it's, it's lame duck now, uh, they, are, they are in there openly saying that they are going to take the pension funds, that they are going to take the 401ks from private interest and put it into government control, and then they will take a tax out of it and send you your check uh, so, uh, and then you tell the yuppies and they just giggle and suck their thumbs and act like monkeys. Uh, so I want to talk about that. Gerald Salente saying he thinks there's going to be bank runs by next February. You know, he's a pretty good predictor as well. Trends forecaster and your call. Stay with us. Have you ever In fact, let's skip this break. Shampoo, soap, or detergent? Uh, I, I know I have a new board op today. I uh, just kill the audio and I'm going to talk to Bob right now because we're streaming over the web. There you go. Uh, John's uh, at a wedding. And, uh, by the way, Jared is doing a great job up there. So is Ethan, all the great folks up at the network. Uh, uh, Bob, let's talk behind the scenes here because I want to come back and take calls, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, we're just on PrisonPlanet.tv and InfoWars.com right now, but that's a substantive audience of millions in the aggregate in the next week. Um, this is really, I mean, even though my mind's prepared for all this, as every week goes by, I, I get more horrified and more, not even angry, disgusted, when we come back, I briefly want to get into the pension funds because I don't want to wait to go to calls. Uh, but uh, on another subject, what about Gerald Salente and so many others uh, saying that, 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 that the globalists by design are going to employ, uh, implode the entire global market and then he's saying total depression by 2012, but that by next year they're going to have a bank holiday? I think that's a good scenario. I think that's very doable. It, it may not be this coming year, but it certainly will do, be the year after, and it'll be right in the middle of raging hyperinflation. Yeah, that's what everybody's saying, you know. I mean, the money that they're creating and the credit that they're creating in the Treasury, Treasuries are creating, they're not even selling them, they're just giving them away. The yeah, but, then, thing is but then the banks are hoarding it to buy infrastructure and give it to the Chinese to come back and buy up the automakers. It seems like they're exporting the money, and so... Uh, that 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 we won't have as much inflation. I mean, it's still going to be bad, but that but that they're so greedy with the money that it's not even going to be here. I think you're right. 
I think you're right. It, it's it's just the worst of the worst. And where do you go? The only way you can protect yourself and really is in gold and silver. Hey, Ted offered gold that he bought at 701, 706, di- you know, different on each coin uh, per ounce. He offered it for that today uh, with the little, you know, commission to take the order. So, uh, I mean, I, it's the best deal he's ever given. His phones are all locked up. But uh, he's doing it on gold he bought a week and a half ago that he's got in the vault. Uh, but uh, that's a pretty good deal, huh, Bob? It certainly is. And, you know, I, I just, if you've got money, you've got to be a buyer. I mean, I've been doing this 50 years. This is my specialty. You've got to do it. You've 